Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Harmony. I'm a twin flame expert helping twin flames around the globe face fears, find freedom, and glow forward on fire. Welcome to my weekly glow show. This week we're going to talk about ways for you to be able to step into your self and escape your reality. Um, I have a little something different for you this week. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a field trip to my oasis, my little piece of heaven and earth, and really just have like just more of a soul chat than anything and just share with you three ideas for you to be able to step into your own oasis, step into your own um, Swan Lake, which is where we're going. And in that soul chat, I'm going to discuss three ways for you to be able to step into your own oasis and your own little piece of heaven on earth. And we're going to discuss being mindful, just breathe, and stirring your soul so that you can connect to more of the inner being and get back to you and to uh, learn a little bit more about relaxing and being present in the middle of the chaos and um, all of the things that we've went through. We've went through some very, very challenging, turbulent energy over the last several months. I mean, years really, but several months has been some very intense energy. We're kind of coming out of that energy now. So, you know, it's, it's a time in this transition to kind of be more, um, to be still. And, you know, in our minds, we've went through so much. It's kind of like we tend to want to be there now. Let's go. Let's get in alignment. Let's, you know, get on with the show. Well, we're sort of being asked right now just to be. So in order to do that in this transition, I invite you just to take a moment in your reality to create and carve out some time to do that, to do just that, to be and teaching you, you know, for you to learn how to be mindful and to just take a breath of fresh air and just stir your soul so that you can um, connect to a higher version of yourself that is coming. Okay, it is coming. So I want you to enjoy the scenery and um, much love to you and I'll be back in a moment. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Harmony again. I just wanted to share with you today a little piece of heaven to help potentially elevate your soul today. You know, we've all been going through so much of the ships and so much struggle and so much uh, different obstacles that we've been experiencing to purify our soul. And I just thought today would be a really great day to share with you my little piece of heaven on earth, Swan Lake. I accidentally supposedly accidentally showed up here back in July and I got up after uh, having a session with a client it was the end of my day it was the evening and I just took off walking like I knew where I was going and I showed up here and this connection to this portal with I know the diamond light um, that I've been like working with um, all over the world really from the Netherlands to South America to Atlantis and um, Egypt to also Hawaii. And me being here in the heart chakra of the nation. And this little portal of energy here carries a lot of that diamond light. Um, I, the energy is so powerful. And you know, there are no accidents, of course. I found it at the exact moment that I needed to. And I've talked to you guys about Swan Lake before and how, um, you know, there's two majestic swans here. There's a female and a male, of course. This is the male over in this direction. The female's on that side. I actually came down here yesterday and the female um, had taken a stroll somewhere and the male was all alone and it was interesting to see um, how, like, the energy was here with just that presence of one it felt like the separation and then all of a sudden here came the divine feminine swan returning and so i feel like that's a lot of our journey that we as the divine feminine has been on this goddess 
journey in the last few months to expand ourselves beyond what we ever could have imagined had we been in any form of a union. And I think that um, <clears throat> everything that we've done up to this point is very, very necessary. One of the things I'm starting to see um, now in the energy is that if we continue to go back and visit the past, that is um, something that we, is our choice because of free will. But that should we choose to go ahead and move forward and release the resistance of the past and, and release the past and especially the resistance. So I wanted to bring you here today, like I said, to help give you a little bit of a um, breath of fresh air, so to speak. You know, it's, it's we're about to come into the spring. Everybody is getting, you know, stir crazy from the winter. But it's the same way with just our soul and what we've been through as we've been purifying. So I wanted to share this piece of heaven and I wanted to bring up three ideas for you to be able to shift outside of maybe um, the grind, the daily, day-to-day the -day activities that are keeping you in that circle and in that wheel of... Um, reality so to speak I mean, we are a 3d um, human having a spiritual experience at the same token you know as our human being we have to um, shift from the surviving into thriving but our physical being has taken a toll it's taken a lot energetically People are exhausted, they are um, needing a break and needing to relax. So I thought this would be a great way to come here today and share this little piece of heaven with you and give you three to four tips here for you to be able to potentially shift your mindset into more of a relaxing and more being. So I invite you to just kind of just Think in terms of giving yourself a break for everything that you've been through up until this point. It has been necessary to get you where you are, but you don't have to stay there. And so one of the things we really need to practice is being mindful. And mindful means present, and present time consciousness and staying in the moment. Um, letting go of the past few, the past challenges that have caused blocked us and have caused us um, and prevented us from being um, able to connect with the highest version of ourselves, and then also letting go of those fears the fears of the unknown the fears of the future the fears of what's ahead and that will help you stay present but to do that it's like you need to you know of course we know don't think about certain things or we should stay positive but we actually i talked about last week that we got to start taking action so i invite you to take some action to learn how to just breathe learn how to just be and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come here personally today and also share this with you today is to invite you to just take a moment to be. No matter how crazy things feel, no matter how much struggle you might still be going through, try to step away. Try to step into a space that creates your own swan lake or your own um, little piece of heaven somewhere that can be your escape and um, another thing is is stirring the soul from a standpoint of energetically moving the energy of your internal being um, having fun getting out and doing something different something that maybe you haven't done in a long time something that you've thought about doing but you just haven't taken the time to do do something that will excite you. Do something that's fun. 
and get that energy moving that's going to stir your soul and help you to um, move that energy and move that dark cloud and it will also help you change your perception because you know it's when we're so stuck and stagnant that our perception tends to get in and our energy gets really like tends to be stuck in the same oh same oh the repetitive cycle in the, the merry-go-round the same thoughts over and over and over and can't escape them well we need to do something to occupy the mind and that i'm suggesting and doing something that would allow you to stir your soul to have some fun excitement and to breathe in order to you know when we get stressed and we cope with stress and there's so much stress in our lives and our, our being has been conditioned to all the stress that we've had up to this point we tend to hold all that tension physically in our body and so breathing exercises work definitely really really well in order to help you shift that uh, energy but you know our soul we need to feed it we need to nourish our being um, we need to be gentle with ourselves and learn how to just relax and learn how to let go of that tension and this is going to allow, you know, your thoughts to shift and your perception to change so that you don't stay stuck in the merry-go-round of the same thoughts just over and over and over. You know, when you could focus on a moment of success, you know, try to just think about something that you've either done that's been successful or maybe even something that you've wanted to do to see yourself being successful at that. And, um... To, and, and I'm going to say this again because I've said it, but you really got to release the resistance. The resistance to what we perceive to be in our human mind, the way we think things should be or the way we want things to be. We really have to let go of the resistance of fighting that process that things may not be the way that we think or that we want or that they will be and getting back to the mindfulness in the present moment that is the only place we can find the stillness that's the only place that we can create from that we can enjoy and that we can learn to let go of just the same old same old striving just to survive and this is going to help you pull you and center you into that that moment and that is where the magic takes place is is, is in the present moment you know that's where the, the things happen and you know try to smile inwardly that way in a way that you know focus on things that make you happy if you're not feeling like smiling on the exterior do something that can try to make this money into your ear. and and I've said this before you know especially if you haven't done a smile challenge before yours coming up soon that you know if you are not happy with where you're at and what's going on in your life to step outside of your own circumstances step outside of your own bit of health and try to make a difference you know serve a purpose and your purpose is going to find you and you know i've practiced this for years and i have found that it to be very powerful for me i also will tell you in addition to that i think there comes balance in that that it you know sometimes maybe we can be too nice and sometimes maybe we need to stand up for ourselves and sometimes it's it, that we need to be able to set boundaries and yeah <laughs> it's like he's setting a boundary over there <laughs> so um yes we need to set some boundaries and what i was about to say is is that i'm saying on one hand of this we need to allow we need things to come in and we need things to be and we need to be able to enjoy this journey on the other end of it, we need to stand in empowerment, have courage, and have strength. And also, basically stand up and say, enough is enough. 
So, you know, I'm staying on one end, and this is where we gotta find the balance of this. Try to find the stillness inside and to shift your perception away from the negative. On the other end of that, you know, depending upon where you are in your circumstances, you might need to not run from that, but to face that fear and to be able to um, face it in a way that you're standing up and setting a boundary, a loving boundary for yourself, a one that maybe you've never set before, maybe you've been taken advantage of in so many ways um, that you, um, you're maybe just tired of, you know, being taken advantage of. And so it makes it hard sometimes in that case to feel like you have anything left to give because you've basically given yourself away and there's nothing left. And at that place, that's another kind of re-entering the being I'm talking about. It's time to recharge. And I think that's kind of summing up kind of what I'm saying here too, is it's time to step back, get back to the basics of, you know, stress less and live more. And I feel like that going forward, we're supposed to be in a higher vibrational energy. And then we still have those imprints of the past. And, you know, we need to release those. So I invite you to start to shift more into being mindful, being present, learning how to just breathe. Spending some time in relaxing and in nature will really ground you. Being in nature will, you know, really ground you. Um, you know, I've needed to come here for the past couple days. It's been beautiful for one. I've also had, you know, I've had somewhat quite a bit going on. But I've made it a point to know that I need to do this for me. And so I've, I've taken the time for me. And I can feel the difference. I can feel... Um, that it's, it's necessary, it's needed, and that's a way to recharge ourselves so that we can just slow down, take that deep breath, stir the energy, um, be mindful, and just breathe. Those are kind of the big things I want to talk about. Um, be mindful, just breathe, and stir your energy. So I have an affirmation for you. And it's by Ernest Holmes from This Thing Called Life. And I'm going to read it to you. It says, I am surrounded by an infinite intelligence which reacts to my thought, my word. Operating through this power will cause it to bring into my experience the good which I desire. Believing in divine guidance, I know that my mind is continuously impressed with the images of the right action. I am led, guided, and inspired by spirit. I am compelled to move to the right direction, always knowing what to do and how to do it. I know that inwardly I am, a spiritual, I am spiritually perfect. I have complete happiness and I experience an abundance of good. I am successful in all of my un, un, undertakings. And so, you know, as you feel potentially stuck, feel drained, feel stressed, I invite you to kind of put this affirmation into practice and start to connect to your infinite intelligence inside of you so that you can connect to source that will give you the strength, that will give you the energy to continue to carry forth. But in honoring yourself in the process, accepting yourself, being kind to yourself, nurturing yourself, taking the time out to be, do, and have, experience the things that you came here to enjoy and that you signed up to experience. And so, um, I send you much love and many blessings, and uh, may you always continue to face your fears, find freedom, and glow forward on fire. Namaste.